Hi everybody, if you're new here, my name is Desi Ortiz and today I'm going to be doing the reverse cat eye look that's been trending on TikTok, I believe. Um, and I'm going to be attempting to do that look today. Never done it before, um, so we're just going to see how this turns out. So I'm just going to do like my face first. I'm going to put on... Um, my primer, I always go back to back like which primer I use, but I really like this one. It's really smooth, it makes my skin really smooth. For those of you that don't know, um, so my hard drive, like, my hard drive that I use for my vlog and like for work, it kind of like just died on me out of the blue. I was working one day and then the next morning I went to go edit and it was just broken. And I was like, Anyway, so they were trying to fix it, and um, well, I had to send it back to the place, and two months later, like, I'm getting it back, but for some reason, I've had such a difficult time getting my package back, so it's been, like, non-stop, like, I've been talking to customer support and, like, asking, like, hey, Mm, where's my package? Because I kind of need it. Also, it, nothing got recovered, so that's pretty great. Um, yeah, nothing got recovered, so I lost all of my data and everything that was on there. So that's pretty awesome. But that's fine because I was prepared for anything like this to happen, so I'm glad that I still had content to post and everything. But it just kind of sucks because that was like a little over a year's worth of work that I kind of just lost in less than 24 hours. Hopefully for the new content that I'm going to be making, is going to be so much better than everything that was on that hard drive. So we're looking, we're looking up things. We're trying to look at the bright side of things. Okay, jazz. I do not trust my laptop here, but thank you. They know everything. Like if there's something new in the house, they know about it so quickly. Yeah, I've, I've had a pretty hectic, crazy day today. I did a lot, did a lot of stuff today. A lot of phone calls for my high school graduation. My older sister gave me AirPods and. About two months ago, they kind of like busted on me. I can hear out of them, but I can't speak into them. So I went to call, paying like almost $200 to fix my AirPods. When I could just get a new pair for like almost $200. Don't know. I'm like debating, should I just get AirPods? Also, I broke, well, I didn't break my wire earbuds. I made the mistake of hiding my wire earbuds and they found them. So they're like all messed up now. For some reason, the wire earbuds here in Chicago are like 30 bucks. I could just order them online for like $14, but I'm just trying to see the cheapest option. I don't think that's a bad thing. I think it's good to be financially smart. There's a way I can get some, like, what else happened today? I'm trying to like, remember everything that happened today. Let me tell you the whole rundown of the package situation though because it's like kind of baffling to me as to how everything's working out. So, I was So like I was saying, so I was supposed to receive my package four days ago. And remind you, I've been waiting a little over, technically I was supposed to receive my package last week, a little over last week, but I never got it. And then I had to wait um, about three more days for me to know where my package was at. Um, I signed up for updates for me to get notifications wherever my package is at, like if it's closed or um, if it's getting delivered, like all of that good stuff and um, I didn't get any notifications. Then I guess there was a delivery attempt on my package about four days ago, but I didn't, since I, in my building where I live, um, you can't get in 
unless you have a key or um, somebody buzzes you in. They don't have a key um, to get in and they weren't buzzed in. So, you know, they, they took the package back because they couldn't deliver it. I didn't receive a notification that the package was even, I didn't even know it was in Illinois. I happened to look on the website to see where my package was at and it was at like an access point facility. So I changed the delivery instructions for it to get sent back to me and again, oh my god, let me see that. I did the notification thing and once again, I received not notifications. Then they said that they delivered it at technically three different locations. So I was really confused because I was like, what? How can one package be in three separate locations at the same time? So I called one of the locations to see if it was there and no, it was not there. So then I called another location um, to see if it was there and it was not there. So then I called the um, customer service line for um, UPS. Uh, I use the uh, Seagate used, used UPS to send the package back, which it wasn't delivered yesterday. And I know that specifically because I check all, like all the time, every single time I leave and there was no package there when I left. Um, and that was later in the day. So, but it said it was delivered and it wasn't delivered. And then it said it was received by somebody and by like a name of nobody that lives in my apartment building. So I was really confused. Then I had to call in. So then I thought, okay, maybe my package got stolen because, you know, packages get stolen all the time. Um, so I, uh, I called again and then the second lady I talked to told me that my package was at this facility and it's the same facility that the lady said. But then I realized that it, my package said it was delivered again today. So I went to go check and it was not delivered today. So then I'm talking to this lady, I'm like, well, now it says my, my package is, was just delivered and there's still no package and then she told me that they're gonna be delivering it tomorrow and again I signed up for the notifications to see if I'm gonna get those notifications I also forgot to mention that in two or two separate occasions I also put on the specific instructions for the shipping and handling for them to please call me and text me and I put my cell phone number on there again um, to make sure that like I actually get it this time and I also asked if I could pick up the package today but then Again going back to the first lady that I talked to she said that I could for an extra charge and I'm like, okay I rather do that and I asked the lady again if I could do that. This is the second lady And she said I'm not allowed to be there Like I'm it's like a UPS facility. I'm not allowed to walk in there. So Yeah mm. Today was kind of confusing. Let's just hope my package comes in tomorrow. Because if not, I'm going to be really upset because that was an expensive hard drive and I'm not getting it. So my ring light is working again. Um, for those of you that don't know, my ring light was broken for like a really long time because Cleo jumped on it. Um, and it kind of broke, so I haven't been able to use my ring light, and today we finally fixed it. It's still kind of broken, but you know what? It's functioning, so that's all I could ask for. We also fixed my mirror, and this one kind of, it's, you know, it, it decides where it wants to go, so. It stands though, so that's fine. Um, that, that part's not broken anymore. But now it just has a mind of its own, it likes to move. Um, but it works, so I'm not complaining. I also have the handheld mirror that I use a lot, so that's fine too. What else happened today? I did, you know, mundane tasks. 
I um, did my laundry today and that took a while. I started um, practicing my covers that I'm gonna do today. Oh, also the cat tower is also out of service because I guess I don't really know exactly what happened, but one day I decided, you know, I came home and um, it fell forward. So we've I've also been in contact with the seller for that to possibly get replacement parts for that um, because it broke. The girls were being really crazy that day. And I'm waiting for that, but I still haven't gotten the... The shipment number thing, I haven't gotten that yet. G Money, grandma, also has surgery tomorrow. Um, but because she speaks Spanish, whenever she needs to like know information about like the surgery and something like that, I usually have to call in and ask for her because she doesn't know. Today's just been a really long day for some reason, I don't know why. But you know, makeup kind of just calms you down. Otherwise than that, my day's been pretty decent. How has your day been? So my face is done. Now I'm gonna be attempting to do the eye look, which this is gonna be interesting because like I said before, I've never really done anything like it. And I did watch a video on how to do it. So let's see if I remember how to do it. First thing that we have to do First, they, what they said is that they use a black eyeliner. Um, this is the NYX Professional Makeup Retractable Eyeliner. I prefer to use these um, than like a pencil. But what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna put it on my waterline, um, my bottom waterline, because again, this is the reverse cat eye. <laughs> it tickles, I haven't worn um, bottom lash line eyeliner in so long. They just flick out this on our outer, like the outer of their eye. They kind of flick it out. We're getting somewhere. Um, I'm gonna use my whip liquid eyeliner instead. Right, but right in the corner. Oh wait, I messed up. I skipped a step. I forgot. So they like to put a. Hmm. Oh. They like to put more of a ashy brown on their whole eyelid, which I'm also going to do that. Um, I'm using this color first. And this one's actually really similar to my skin tone. And I'm just going to be putting this on my whole lid. And just kind of like, I just like to use this as a transition color really. But I put it on my whole lid and then I'm going to grab a different eyeshadow color and putting that in my crease just to get it a little, give my, like, my eyelids a little bit more depth um i do not have like a ashy brown and i prefer to use warmer browns on my skin tone um i feel like it brings out the gold in my skin tone more and i just prefer that i might be completely wrong though and now i'm going to be grabbing flat round brush and I'm going to be grabbing I think I'll be grabbing this deeper um, warm brown um, and I'm just going to be putting this on the crease of my lid just like putting it there and then also here and then I'm going to be blending that out again with that fluffy brush and I like again when I blend I go in circular motions inward and then I drag like a wing show the wiper like in the inner part. And when it comes to like my inner eye. Dark Dark Brown, now this is actually the same brown that I use when I do my eyeliner. Um, I'm gonna be grabbing this, tapping off that excess. And again, this is with the, the flat round brush and I'm gonna be putting this um, on my lash line. And I don't wanna smudge it yet, so I'm just gonna like tap it in. And then I'm also going to go up again where we put that little flick there. 
And now I'm gonna grab my black eyeshadow. And I'm again just gonna be tapping. I feel like I can go more out. And then I'm just gonna blend this out a little bit with. I'm not even gonna lie, like I really wanna put like a dark shade there, but I'm not gonna do that. Um, I don't know if I like this. I feel like it goes longer. No, we're gonna trust the process, this thing, trust the process. Okay, so that is done. Now I'm gonna do the inner corner. Okay, now I'm just gonna um, be doing like the little triangle thing um, in my inner corner. I really want to do a red lip with this because I haven't done a red lip in so long. Um, I think I just might do a red lip because it's been so long. You see the difference? Dang, now I feel like if I do the red, like the red lipstick, it's gonna take it away. I feel like you won't notice. doing a simple lip. I gotta go all out. As I say when I'm not gonna get dressed up. I'm doing a red lip. Who cares? It's the Leo in me. Hold on. I know it looks crazy. Just bear with me. Bear with me, okay? Bear with me. Alright, so that's it for this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I think I did a pretty decent job for my first attempt. Um, it's actually really simple. I thought it was going to be a little bit more complicated than I expected, but it wasn't. But I'm really glad with the way that it came out. Um, I'm happy I did the red lip. Um, I think it looks cute. Um, let me know if there are any other looks that you would like me to do or to try. See you next week. Bye!